Bowl one right here and we're playing Farm in Simulator 17 on Crossroads here on the Artie Allen multiplayer server. Let's realize auto turn is on here. There we go. And joined on the server at the moment by Farming126. And we got uh, Mathos and Kotby in TeamSpeak. And currently a plowing here on a field 12. We got the uh, John Deere 9620. Along with the uh, John Deere 2623 disc here, which is considered a plow in the game. And so far, yes, making pretty good uh, progress here on the map. Again, I don't know that we've really set any goals on the map here, unless maybe we're going to carry over the goals we had from Southern Cross. I suppose that uh, might make some for good goals, but... Uh, let's see, still only uh, same three fields yet. And I think we're probably saving up for a combine at this point. Uh, we're still using the uh, smaller Pace 7130 combine yet. Which uh, works okay, except for the fact that we got the larger header for it. What, which makes it rather difficult to unload. Actually makes it very difficult to unload. Does that link, Randy, look like the correct place to get Notepad++? Plus plus? Uh, I'll have to check. I just don't want to get something... I don't know, the page looks kind of weird to me. User joined your channel. Nope, that kind of looks like Notepad++. Plus plus. It's, it's a free program, so... Yeah, I, I mean, I knew it was a free program, but you know how some websites can be iffy. I don't want to hit download on. <laughs> oh, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely it. I do a lot of software development, and I've downloaded it. But I would know. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a great program. Hey, buddy. Hey, Randy. Hey, Thomas. How's it going? Hey. Uh, uh, still trying to get everything all transferred and everything. Oh, you got your new hard drive? Yeah, it came in Saturday. Okay. And then, then Mom's cell phone, it came in today. Okay. Getting everything moved over from the computer and the cell phone? Well, uh, the cell phone, it's already set up. Uh, now Mom can actually sit there and go to places and it's don't have to work. Us? Don't have to worry about... Uh, Worry about the Wi-Fi. So I basically told her, it's like, your phone, you can take it to places, but the other phone, you can leave it here at the house and have it as a for a house phone. The thing of it is, you can uh, call and text on it. Oh, okay. Anyway, we'll uh, read some comments here in a moment. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty much a brand new phone. Uh, Same with the uh, booklet, everything inside it, a box, the charger, a phone. Which one did you oh, get? The Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. Okay. Not bad looking phone for about 50 bucks. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, they got so many of those, I don't even know which one that is. It's the remake of the Samsung Galaxy S5. Oh, okay. I think the 6 has got a uh, dual SIM card. Or dual SD card. Anyway, like I was said, reading some comments here. Uh, Michael was saying, really wish the uh, console would give the option for the uh, tracks on that tractor. Talking about the uh, large New Holland T9 there. And yes, we have oh, a smart tracks version of it. Are you going to do any more giveaways? Uh, I probably will, yes. Uh, possibly next, uh, next Saturday again.
Might do another uh, car mechanic simulator or two giveaways. Or do one of each, do the uh, car mechanic and the uh, train mechanic. Oh, we could do that, I guess, yeah. Somebody need a train mechanic? <laughs> I haven't I haven't got either or. Oh god, don't give him either or we won't see him again for months. <laughs> uh I didn't see how much it is. Apparently my uh I going to tell when I bring up uh, I car Steam. mechanic with the silver DLC is 26, I think. And I think if you get it without the DLCs, I think it's 19, then, if I remember correctly. That's what the car mechanic? Yep. Yeah, I don't know what train mechanic is. I've never looked at that game. Uh, Jack was asking about the Snetterton's map. Is this map available for download? Yes, it is, and I'm pretty sure I have a download link in my, oh, my game description for Snetterton's the library series. Community. It's, it's being haywired. It's like taking forever. I tried restarting it, and it still didn't do it. Almost like the repeater over there in Chicago is having issues. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I know. Might have been Arizona. Not Arizona, but uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Hello, Leaf was saying electronic on the door of the Massey Ferguson there probably means electronic shift. Back when it probably meant electronic nightmare. Yeah, I was kind of wondering that. Not that electronics nowadays are much uh, better. They can be a pretty good nightmare nowadays as well when it comes to uh, vehicles and tractors and whatnot. Uh, Trent was asking, where did you get the J&M Auger Wangen? Uh, the J&M Auger Wangen, that link was sent to me by Jeffrey, I believe. He's the one that found that one. And I'd have to double check, but there should be a link in the mod list for that one. Um, if not, then I don't have a link for it. But there again, just a reminder for anybody Clear wondering where my, the mods uh, I got cash. came from, make sure you check the mod list. Uh, Joseph was asking, did you look in bailing technology for trailers? Yes, I did. And in Pacific, I was actually looking for a Pacific trailer that I thought I had, and I couldn't uh, find it. Thought I had a, a gooseneck trailer I was going to use to pull behind the truck with the, uh, for the bales there in Snatcher Tins. But I uh, could not find it, so that was the trailer that I was looking for. Wasn't really looking for the uh, step deck or any of the other flatbeds that I have. Uh, Matthew was saying there's another Wilson step deck that was released on American style modding a few days ago. That one has auto load. So good to know there. Might uh, might change out the one I have then. I'm not entirely sure even where the one I have came from. Uh, Chris was saying for the four-wheeler, was it the gas tank vent? Uh, I believe we have checked that, and no, it is not. Uh, kind of, I guess, probably a way you could tell that uh, when you pop the gas tank cover, and if you hear a hiss, you either got pressure or you have negative pressure. You got one or the other. You know, it might be kind of hard to tell which one, but... And at least in our case, that doesn't happen. Oh, dead gum. I forgot what my freaking password is on here. Uh, Carson will say, next time try loading bales oh, with implement to connected to the back. 
I found that works better with smaller tractors. Actually, I wasn't having any troubles loading the bales with the Massey Ferguson tractor there. It seemed to be handling the bales just fine. It's just the overall baling mechanics physics in the game that are less than ideal. <laughs> kind of uh, shoddy. There it goes. And at least in real life, too, as well. At least where I live, very rarely do you see tractors with weights or anything on them. I mean, on the front of the tractor, yes. You know, for tillage. And you'll see, you know, a whole pack of suitcase weights on the front, something like this. But as far as like... It's a lot quicker. That's what was going on. As far as like the weights in the game go, no, never see those. Never on the back or the front. Even for loader tractors, which I've always found rather interesting. Being cashy. Works a lot better now. Ooh, buy American Truck Simulator for 20 bucks. I'm worried your final Big Bud will fit through these gates. On which map? Snowden. Oh boy, we got triples on him? No, but I seen a guy buy one of these on a smaller map and he put the singles on. Oh, oh. oh hideous. Oh, is that hideous? <laughs> No, I do think I never used the, uh, is it the four, yeah, 450, isn't it? Is that the other one? Yeah. Yeah, never used that one. It's just hideous looking. Our mechanic. These bigger fields in the lower right corner of the map were supposed to be made uh, for Big Bud, so we'll find out here. Definitely won't fit through these gates with some of them, anyways, with triples. Yeah, I, I can picture that. So, basically, what all you do, Randy, on car mechanic, you just go out there to the junkyard and pick the car, and, or they do it. Well, if you start with the uh, story mode, it starts you off with fixing orders. So, you'll get an order for a car, it gets brought to the garage there and you just fix up whatever is wrong with it and then yeah once you get up in levels then you can start going out I guess to the junkyard start doing junkyard finds, barn finds all that type of thing that's something I haven't uh, gotten into yet in the game I've just been doing the orders so far Train mechanic Huh, train mechanic is for 15. Oh yeah, that wasn't uh, too bad of a game. I always stick with the diesel. What was that one? TSW? Um... Yeah, kind of like we were talking about weights there a moment ago. It's kind of interesting to see the differences there again. And again, I'm just going to call it American that one? type of weights versus European type of weights. And again, I don't, see if this turns better, I don't know that you know this style of weights isn't used in America here. It may be, but at least for myself, I've never seen weights like this used where I live. Oh, yeah, it must be a collision on uh, Stevie's tracker then. Oh, I had it. There it is. And yeah, like we were talking about weights there as well. World. When it comes to loader tractors, again, at least yes, where I live, you never see any weights on the back of a tractor, of a loader Ooh, tractor typically. I uh, can do the bundle for like you two. You're talking about 40 bucks, and I want to get a cordless impact that's 300. <laughs> uh, Matthias was saying you can reset equipment to the uh, you store. You can do it like this way. You can can drive it all the way. Uh, TS 2017 plus Train Sim World bundle for like $64. Wow. Uh, Apocalypse was saying good video as always. Thank you very much for that. Mm hmm. But that I can't find anyone who can tell me what a good frickin' cordless impact is. 
A what? Good cordless impact, so battery? Yeah. Yeah, like power wise. Like foot torque. You looking for yeah. a bigger one or a smaller one? He's probably looking for a bigger one. Half inch, yeah. Half inch, um, Milwaukee. What about DeWalt? Uh, DeWalt's pretty good too. Yeah, uh, DeWalt's pretty good. Either uh, DeWalt, Milwaukee, or I think, does Makita make one too? I think so. Or uh, maybe Crashman, if they make one. I've got a Crashman drill, and I've, I've got one drill that I had over, I don't know, 10, 15 years. Yeah, I, I don't know about the Crashman stuff anymore. They've gotten cheap, really cheap. Well, they've uh, yeah, they sold half their sh stores. We only got one, one real Sears store left around here. That's an hour away. But anyways, that was the impact I was looking at. That one comes with the charger, the battery, and the bag. I found a lot of DeWalt's you can buy just the drill. No battery or nothing with you know, it. Well, yeah, if you buy something else that has batteries, you really only need like two or three sets of batteries for everything. So, Well, well that's good because eventually I would like to get a drill too. So, Yeah, and then, then you can just get just the drill then. But I'm trying to figure out if that thing's a good one. Most of them say, I think it says 700 um, put-on pounds, but 1,200 takeoff pounds. Okay. For that one, on the DeWalt site anyways. I mean, yeah, you're never going to reach air level with a cord, at least not yet anyway, I don't think you can. You're never going to reach the, you know, the power of an air impact with a cordless yet, but... That should definitely take uh, lug nuts off. I think maybe next month I might get this. You any uh, fan of the, what they call, I guess, an impact drill? That's the smaller ones? Oh, yes. So you're telling me that they should, when I go down the drill road, I should get the combo? <laughs> uh, I would, yes. Yes, um, my dad's got one. He's got a Milwaukee set, half-inch drill, and one of the uh, compact impacts. Oh, is that nice. I mean, you're not going to be, you know, changing out tires or anything like that. It doesn't have that much power, but for, like, putting screws in and small stuff, wow, very nice. Yeah, my dad's got one too. Who, who sells Milwaukee? Do you have to go right through them, or? Got um, it? you can go through any online store. I think most online stores will sell them. Yeah, like Lowe's, Menards. Um, I can't remember if Home Depot's got those or not. Yeah, I'm not sure on that. Uh, you might also check with at uh, Harbor Freight. They might oh, have yeah. some. I doubt they carry Milwaukee. I think they just carry <laughs> oh, their stuff. Boy. Don't get me wrong. I love Harbor Freight, but there's some stuff I just will not <laughs> go there and buy. Yeah, don't don't get their cordless tools. I actually had because I don't use a drill a lot, you know. So I just. I got this one from uh, there that was on. It was a real clearance deal and stuff. You put it in your hand, it felt solid. It worked great. I mean, for what I would use it for, it was perfect. Well, it sat in the case for about six months to a year, and then I went to grab it for something, and the plastic was all cracked on the side. Oh, wow. I think I bought a uh, compound miter saw from there, and it it was like a piece of junk. Well, I've actually got their, uh, what do they call it, the 12-inch compound sliding double bevel whatever miter saw. Love that thing. That thing's great. Yeah, the one I got, it's, it's like red and gray, and I think the first time I used it was all right, but wait for a few months to a year, the... Safety guard decided to stick on me. 
And it was one of those, let's see, the red and gray one was, um, I think that starts with an A. Uh, Chicago Electric? Yeah, that one. Yep, that's what I got, too. I got a Chicago Electric. Mine's a 12-inch. Mine's like a 8-inch, I think, 8 or 10. Okay. Yeah, the first thing I did when I got it, though, I took the blade they had in it, threw it away, and went and bought <laughs> a pair of DeWalt blades to put in it. See you later. Yep. I didn't bother trying the uh, the blades they came with. Like that, just throw those away. Went and bought some really good blades for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the blades cost me about as much as the uh, saw did, I think. <laughs> well, it's the same thing with drill bits, though. My dad wants to get some Kadobe or Cobalt or something with a K. The uh, Cobalt? Yeah. Cobalt. And they're like $119 for drill bits. Can't go wrong with them. I've got that exact set. I've used and used those, so... I mean, they're probably cheap, but they work great. I was also trying to find a good uh, micrometer. Eh, Harbor Freight, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's... I, we have a tool catalog where I work, and... There's uh, some brands in there, but the ones that I recognize are through the roof. Yeah, the uh, Mitutuyo brand or whatever it is. There's K and D in there. I was looking, trying to find some OTC because they have really good uh, testing equipment and such. Yep. But there was, uh, oh, what was that other one? Uh, Chicago something. Yeah, that was the one I got. It's the minor compound. Is uh, Chicago. Yeah, Chicago something. I had electric one uh, when I was in trade school, but I don't know where they, what brand it was, and it, it just felt a lot better than what I've been getting my hands on. They feel so dang cheap. Oh, yeah. Some of them, you know. I went to go put a battery in this one uh, that we have, that we sell, and oh, my God. you could, I was like, yep, I'm not buying this one. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't buy the compound miter saw from Chicago. Because, like I said, it was all right during the beginning, but... Something going on with that safety guard, and it just get a fumble. So every single time when I want to use it, I got to raise up the guard and have it locked in place, either way for me to use it. I mean, it works great. It's just that safety guard; it's messed up. Dewalt had a saw like the one you're using to cut your speaker boards, Randy, and it was. On their website, it was like on some sort of super sale. Yeah, that that saw you seen me cutting my speaker boards with. That's my Chicago Electric Harbor Freight 12 inch compound. Oh. <laughs> uh, what sliding compound double bevel? I, I forget what they. It's got like three or four different words in it. Okay. Yeah, no, I absolutely love that saw. Don't get me wrong. There's good stuff in there, but I know, like, uh, take for instance, uh, battery tender. I seen one there, the kind that plugs in just in the wall and then it's got just the wires coming off it. I looked at the wires on that one and it was uh, Battery Tender, you know, the name brand that's been around for years. And the wire was no thicker than telephone wire. I mean, like one strand. Oh, wow. I was like, that's going to get hot. No way am I going to get that. And then we got the same brand at our store and it's like four times the amount of wire per cable. Or you know, braided wire. Actually, I better wash this here before I put so it away. So I don't know what they—they they must have them cheapen it down for them or something. Uh, that could very well be. But if you want to make your own tool and heat it up and bend tools around, that's a good cheap place to get tools. <laughs> exactly. You know, and especially too if it's you know, don't do it very often. You know, like once a year, you need something perfect. I don't have to go out and spend the big bucks for something. Yeah. Unlike someone, we won't mention any names, that's probably going to end up getting that impact. Oh. 
But just as long as it lasts, then yeah, eventually get my money out of it. Well, yeah, something like that. The uh, at least the electric tools, the cordless tools, anyway. Uh, I'd, I'd buy name brand there. User disconnected from your channel. Well, bye. Thank you. Come again. User entered your channel. Come back. Archangel. Hit the wrong button. Ping. Hate it when that happens. The Harbor Freight. Oh, some of the okay. good things that they have is like um, fire converters. Those are really good. Um, they do have some impact wrenches. That are really good. Find a track here we can pull our cedar with. Let's just use. But uh, yeah, I used to have a uh, overhead winch for like I don't know fifty to eighty dollars for it. That was really good. Oh yeah, that's what we used to pull out the stumps with. That was a Harbor Freight winch on the tractor. Oh jeez. <laughs> that was their. Um, what's I don't forget what the biggest one they make is. It's the biggest one. Uh, the one I had. If you do a double loop. It would do 500 pounds on it. Did you use a coupon? What? Uh, yes, we did. <laughs> yeah, we got it on sale, the one we got. We all know they send out them bucks with the coupons. Yep. Like 50 things you can get for free, and half of the good ones are all gone when you get there. Right. Yeah, basically like this, if anybody ever have any trouble with stir uh, steam, bring out your cashy. I haven't done that in years on mine. I used to say, it was about the time for... me to... Uh, And for those you wondering, by the way, this cedar does Get not no-till, so you do have to till the field with this uh, cedar. And you have to fertilize as well. And this is the uh, Big Bud DLC planter here. Uh, which, uh, by the way, is a reminder, if you want to join us on the Farming Simulator multiplayer servers, uh, you will need the Big Bud DLC to join us on Server 2. Uh, servers 1 and 3 do not have the Big Bud DLC. Yeah, that's how I got my uh, saw as well. I had a coupon for that. I think I got it 130, 120 bucks for it. Huh. Very good deal. Oh, yeah, I like that thing because I can cut, what, like 40 inches across on it? You know, cut it one way, flip it over, and cut the other way so I don't even have to get the table saw out anymore. Oh, and we got all to turn on. Let's uh, shut that off here. We're almost to the required likes for the Alice Chalmers tractor. Oh, boy. Like 15 more. <laughs> Come on, somebody go put some more likes on uh, on the Facebook page there. I just hope it has enough horsepower to pull something halfway decent. Uh, hard to say. Yeah, that's the Trailer Park Farms Facebook page, right? Yeah. He did release a case tractor. I'm going to take that sucker out for a spin and see if it's any good. Oh, i seen that. Yep. That was posted today. i seen he had a new Holland Windrower as well. Yes. He had a header, too, for Combine, but I didn't download that one. Apparently it's got some kind of scissor movement or something on it. I was, don't quite understand it. I was going to download just to see what the hang it even did. Maybe more animation on it or something. Okay. They're working on some kind of combine, but it hasn't released that yet. 
Anyway, folks, looking at the time, looks like it's time to wrap up the episode. So with that, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. Also, a reminder again, if you want to join us on the multiplayer server, information is in the description below. Also, download links, my, download links for the servers for server 1 and 2. And then server 3 can be found in TeamSpeak. Again, we do ask if you're joining us on the farming simulator servers, please join us on TeamSpeak. That is a requirement to join us on the multiplayer servers. And we currently have uh, three multiplayer servers. Uh, server 1 is City of Vasquez. Server 2 is Crossroads here. That's the map we're on right now. So make sure if you want to join us on Crossroads here, make sure you download server 2 mods. And then server 3 is Golden Days of Farming. That's kind of our old-time farming map here at the moment. Again, I've done a couple of live streams on that. A couple of cool older mods on there. And then, of course, we got a group that's uh, playing quite a bit of Car Mechanic Simulator as well. So, Anyway, like I said, folks, we'll wrap up the video. Thanks for watching, and until uh, next time.